Alrighty guys, so at this point uh, in the flight we were uh, experiencing a low vacuum. Uh, looks like the vacuum pump had failed. Um, so we had zero vacuum and so our standby uh, st attitude indicator had uh, failed us. And uh, just before that we had a failure of the, uh, we had a GPS-1 failure. Uh, we had a backup and GPS-1 came back but it was it just it scared us and uh you know we had to make a decision do we uh keep going or do we turn around uh so we called our our maintenance department and maintenance said that it's fine uh we were fine to continue VFR uh to and just to complete the flight and uh we did so uh safely but uh this is this is some of the stuff you have to deal with you got to be constantly be aware of this stuff uh, I caught the vacuum starting to decline, and then it just failed very quickly. Um, it just, uh, from what maintenance said, the uh, the vacuum pump will can seize up, and the, the plastic gear that drives it uh, will shatter to keep the motor running. So the um, so that's probably what ended up happening uh, during this flight. And this was only about a half an hour in, so we had already had two failures within a half hour. Um, I personally wasn't very sure about uh, continuing, uh, but the my instructor uh, decided that, uh, you know, with his experience, he was okay uh, continuing, and uh, I went with his experience because he has, you know, probably about a thousand more hours than I do. So I went with his uh, experience, and we, we made it out fine. So... Uh, I thought I'd just fill you in with uh, what that clip was about.